Welcome to Module Legends. Hello everyone, this is your Science 5 Second Quarter, Module 6, with the title, Estuaries and Intertidal Zones. And I'm your voiceover, Mom J.R. Akayan Pendon. Be sure you have finished doing the pre-test and looking back of your Module 6. So for this module, um, one of its topic is all about the ecosystem. So ecosystem, according to Wikipedia, is a community of living organisms in conjunction with the non-living components of their environment, interacting as a system. This biotic and abiotic components are linked together through nutrient cycles and energy flows. Pasimple natin. Pag sinabi natin ecosystem, ito ay system or sistema na magkakasamang living organisms and non-living components sa isang environment. So, para siyang community or komunidad, and then merong living things at merong non-living things na nagbe-benefit sa isa't isa. They are linked together. Meron silang relasyon sa isa't isa. Ayan. This is an example of a simple ecosystem. We have frog, tadpoles, flies, sun, water weeds, fish, and snail. Magkakaibang organisms sila, living organisms, okay? Pero may non-living organisms din silang ini-interact together. Sun is a non-living organism that interacts with living organisms every day. And another example of an ecosystem, this one is a little bit um, bigger. So we have human, animals, we have the non-living things. O meron tayong sun, even the clouds, the rain, the trees, even the air. They interact with each other and kailangan nila yung isa't isa to continuously uh, exist. So each other is benefiting from one another. Okay, sa loob ng ecosystem, meron tayong tinatawag na biotic and abiotic factors. Pag sinabi natin biotic, they are actually living things. Pag sinabi natin living things, meron silang buhay. Like plants, animals, fungi, and bacteria. While non-living things are called the abiotic factors. Non-living things tulad ng water, sunlight, soil, air, and temperature. Yung init at lamig, they are also called abiotic factors. Okay, so that's for the ecosystem. Let's take a peek. Take a look at the following pictures. Mm. First picture. Second picture. And the third picture. All of these pictures are called or as an example of estuary or estuaries. Estuary, estuaries. Okay. Ano nga ba tong estuary or estuaries? Estuary is also called the nurseries of the seas. Bakit siya tinawag the nursery? It serves as breeding ground of many ocean fish. So, yung ibang fishes or most of the fishes, dito sila sa part na to, sa estuary, nagbibreed. Okay? Naglilay ng eggs at nagpapalaki ng mga uh, ng mga little fishes, bago sila tuluyang pumunta sa ocean. So, breeding ground siya ng many ocean fish. It is the boundary where fresh water meets salt water. Pag sinabi natin boundary, dun nagtatagpo yung dalawang bagay. So, boundary ang estuary. Kung saan ang nakikita doon fresh water at saka salt water. Siya yung pinaka-boundary. Kung saan nagtatagpo ang fresh water at saka salt water, that is called an estuary. Okay? Ano ba yung fresh water? Pag sinabi natin fresh water, minimal quantities of dissolved salts. Um, konti lang yung content yung salt. Okay? So, yun yung una nilang pagkakaiba ng salt water. So, may, meron siyang kaunting uh, quantity of dissolved salt. Si fresh water, usually galing siya sa uh, sa rain, water vapor, sa mga, na, napapadpad sa mga ilog, sapa, at iba pang ground water. Okay? 
pwedeng after ng snow or after magyelo. So, these are actually called fresh water. Um, usually, sila yung mga nasa sapa, ilog, or lakes, rivers, streams, pati yung mga underground water is called groundwater or fresh water. So, bibigyan ka tayo ng small uh, idea sa fresh water. Ito yung mga water na halos na sa paligid natin. Pag naghukay ka ng lupa at merong water under, it's it's actually a fresh water. Pag umakit ka ng mundok at merong falls doon, or merong sapa or ilog, it's a fresh water. While salt water, or saline water, okay, is a water with high amount of salt in it. That's the reason why it's called salt water. There's a high amount, meron siyang mataas na salt content. And this water comes from the seas. Galing siya sa karagatan or ocean. Okay? Um, and did you know that almost all the water on earth is saline? Okay? Halos 70% of the earth is made up of water. At yung 70% na water ng earth, almost all of it is made up of salt water. Okay. So, take a look at this picture. So, ito yung estuary. Ito yung part na to. Okay. So, ito yung estuary natin. Diyan nagtatagpo yung tinatawag nating salt water. So, ito si salt water. Diyan sila imimit ng fresh water. Okay. So, meron tayong salt water and meron tayong fresh water. So, ito naman yung fresh water natin dito. So, ito, ilog or rivers. Okay. Yung mga tubig dyan, pag napadpad dito, dito sila magtatagpo ng salt water. Ito yung part ng estuary. Okay. Now, let's move on to the intertidal zone. Okay. In your module, diniscuss din dyan yung intertidal zone. What is an intertidal zone? It is the area where the ocean meets the land. Okay. Biliwanagin natin na, pag estuary ang nagtatagpo, Tubig sa tubig. Pag intertidal zone naman, ito yung lugar na kung saan nagtatagpo ang tubig at lupa. The area where the ocean meets the land. It is known as foreshore or seashore. In Tagalog, ito yung tinatawag nating dalampasigan or tabing dagat. It is the area above the water. So, Ito yung lugar na kung saan mataas siya sa tubig, okay? Kapag low tide or siya naman ay underwater or nasa ilalim ng tubig kapag high tide. So meron tayong tinatawag na low tide and high tide sa intertidal zone. Oh, halimbawa itong picture na to. Tingnan niyo mabuti ha. Sa first picture, high tide 'yon. Pag sinabing high tide, mataas yung tubig. Okay? Pero pag nag-low tide, bumaba yung tubig, okay? Low tide 'yon, makikita niyo na meron siyang land surface. So, this is an intertidal zone. Okay? Ah, nagtatagpo dito ang water and land. So, may mga lugar po talaga, lalo na yung mga tabing ocean natin, they are experiencing high tide okay, and low tide every day. Every day po yan nararanasan. Oh, another example. Oh, sa area na to, this is also part of the ocean, high tide hanggang dito yung water niya. Okay? Hanggang dito yung water niya. Pero kapag low tide, okay, hang, oh, almost, ang makikita mo na lang dito is the stones or the soil, muds. Okay, pag nag high tide ulit, babalik ulit siya sa ganitong itsura. And then low tide ulit, ganito. So, every day, nararanasan to ng areas uh, in the intertidal zone. Okay, estuary ecosystem. Estuaries trap nutrients and sediment that are carried from the land by rivers and from the ocean and by tides. So, sa estuary, sinabi natin kanina na siya ay nurseries of the seas, na yung breeding ground siya ng mga fishes. Okay? So, merong ecosystem or interacting biotic and abiotic factors sa estuary. There are animals and plants in the estuaries. Okay. At dahil mayroong animal and plants in the estuaries and biotic and abiotic factor, meron siyang feeding relationship. Okay? Meron tayong tinatawag na food chain. 
Okay, so yun yung food chain. So yung mas malaki, tinatawag naman siyang food web. Pag sinabi natin food chain, para siyang ganito. Okay, simpleng relationship ng pagkain, feeding relationship. So nuts, okay, kainin siya ng daga. Yung daga, maaari siyang kainin ng snake. Yung snake, maaari siyang dagitin at kainin ng eagle. So, straight line tayo, it's called a food chain. Okay? Parang relationship ng kainan within the uh, biotic and abiotic factors. Pag sinabi namang food web, kaya siya tinag na food web kasi marami na siyang relationships. Okay? So, merong feeding relationship na na nag interact sa iba't iba. So, Ayan, so makikita niyo yung mga arrows na yan. Sila-sila yung magkaka-relationship. And even human is part of the food chain or the food web. Mas malaki lang yung food web sa food chain. Ayan, so we're done with the basic components of your module 6. It's now your time to try to answer the module activities. So you can ask your science teacher which activities you may skip or which one are required for you to do. Don't forget to do your check your understanding, post test, and reflection if you still have time. So, that's it. That ends our Science 5 Second Quarter Module 6 with the title, Estuaries and Intertidal Zones. Again, this is your science voiceover teacher, Mom J.R. Akayan Fenden. Till next module, goodbye!